Hey guys, if you guys want some cheap and reliable gaming controllers, check out Sitch Gaming. Link and discount code in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? You guys know me, I'm JD. Today we got a hell of a lot of info dropped on us about the Criminal Activity DLC. So let's waste no time, let's get right into this. First off, let's talk about the new guns we're getting. There's going to be a total of about four new guns. We got a new pump action bullpup shotgun. It, from what it says in the article, it may be, be the UTS from Battlefield 4 returning. If you guys do not know what that looks like, I'll be showing out here on the screen right now. And next up, we got a new thing. We got a new bow rifle, which means we might be getting an M14 from the way they've been describing it because it does shoot NATO rounds. And it is a bow rifle, and they say it's really good at medium to long range. So I'm really saying we are might be getting an M14 back into the game for the criminal side. Next up, we got a new Asari rifle that shoots similar rounds to what the M14 or NATO rounds it shoots. It might be an L1A1 L1A1 Galil, which that'll be one hell of a gun to use. It'll be so it'll be so similar, similar to the ARM, but this is my hypothesis of what the next gun will be. Do not quote me on any of this. But Next up, we got the new submachine gun. Like I said from my previous video on this DLC, the Thompson machine gun is confirmed, but there's only one flaw to this gun. There's only two things you can change on the gun, the magazine size and what the grip is, which kind of stinks, but that's it. Next on, let's go on to the new ammo that they just introduced into the game. First off, let's start off with tracer rounds, which are available on the saw rifle, bow rifle, and marksman rifles only. They are available on both sides, and what they do, they basically can increase the damage to players if they're wearing armor inserts and increase um, damage to vehicles. And they are also a traceable around when shooting, so basically, when you shoot them, you'll be able to see where that bullet's going. So make sure not to use them all the time because you might get your spot taken away from you, you might get shot on the back. Next up, we got breaching ammo, or basically known as a frag round for shotguns. But this is a little bit of a twist compared to Battlefield 4 frag rounds. You're able to rechamber them in the shotgun. So you can run around with a regular buckshot and change it to a frag round for close quarters or shooting down doors. Next up, we got the alleged pickup weapon, the nail gun, which everyone's been wondering about what that is. We got some heavy news on what it is today. First off, it is a 10 round magazine that holds out to 4 mags. It is a one hit kill to the head. And when you shoot it, it is basically a suppressed weapon and it does not make any noise. You will not show up on the minimap and what from they say is a really good gun for CQ or close quarters. Next up and finally the vehicles. We got the lowrider like we said before is a fully customizable sedan with hydraulics controlled by the driver which is be hella fun. And the pickup truck found only on the backwoods map able to set up to full if you sit in the back of the vehicle, sorry if I confused there, but if you sit in the back of the vehicle, which is three people, you get a full 360 degree view and holds up to at least five plus people, which you'll be able to see right here on the screen. You'll see this pickup truck jumping over the, the um, ramp in um, backwards. But I hope you guys really did get all this information. If you didn't, you can rewatch this video. But I hope you guys did enjoy. So make sure to like, subscribe for everything up to date Battlefield related. And peace out till next time. I can't wait till the DLC comes out.